Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're unable to find a camera compatible with the Windows Hello Face utility. So this could definitely be a frustrating issue, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I'd actually recommend doing here would be to go check for Windows updates, see if there is anything available, and then restart your computer, see if that resolves problems. So definitely try restarting your computer first. If you're still having a problem with your camera, something else you can try here would be to open up the web browser of your choice, doesn't matter which one. And you just want to search into Google just for whatever your computer manufacturer is. So if you have your model name and number, that's probably important. So you could just say anything, you know, let's just say Dell Inspiron 15 camera driver. Just for example, you could do anything in here and you probably will find a Google result from Dell or HP or Acer, Asus, Toshiba, etc. So anyway, we're just going to go right on Dell's website here. This is just an example just you know it can be anything but I'm just kind of giving you guys an example of what you would do and at this point you would just go ahead and select the download button again this will look slightly different depending on what version of Windows you're running you see it even picked up that I'm running a 32-bit version of the operating system which is pretty good that'll actually really get you to what you need for your system just select the download button and walk along with the on-screen instructions again I don't want to go down the rabbit hole too much of any one specific driver or one specific manufacturer because the process may be slightly different but again it's very straightforward process here guys on how to do that so again restart your computer see if that resolves the problem something else we can try here do a system restore so go ahead and open up the start menu and type in system restore one of the best results should come back with create a restore point. Go ahead and left click on that. Select the system restore button. You can undo system changes by reverting your computer to a previous restore point. Go ahead and select system restore. And then select next. I usually recommend restoring back to the newest created restore point if you have multiple. And then select next. Select finish here. And once started system restore cannot be interrupted. Do you want to continue? Go ahead and select yes. And at this point, just let the system restart. We'll take a few minutes to run for most of you guys and just be patient here.
okay there you go guys should be simple as that and hopefully your problem has been resolved so as always thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial do hope that i was able to help you out and i do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye